in the last video, we took a look at adding a second internal hard disk to an Apple Power Mac G5 I received as a gift. This time, I thought we'd take a quick tour of this machine and get the tech specs. Let's get started. This particular machine is model number A1047, early 2005. It has a dual 2.0 GHz PowerPC 970FX G5 processors. Stock machines were equipped with 512 MB of PC3200 DDR memory, supporting a maximum of 4 GB. This machine has 1 GB installed. This computer would have originally shipped with a 160GB serial ATA hard drive, with a transfer rate of 1.5GB per second, which is the maximum transfer rate the hard drive controller in this model supports. The system profiler reports the hard disk capacity at 189.2GB, so it looks like the previous owner upgraded that. For the optical drive, this machine has a 4x dual layer super drive, capable of burning both CDs and DVDs. It is connected to the computer via an Atapi interface. As far as expandability goes, there are three PCI slots available, though I have no idea which expansion cards would be compatible with this machine. For communications, there is 10, 100, 1000 base T Ethernet installed. A 56k modem, Bluetooth, and airport Wi-Fi were all optional, and none of these are installed on this machine. The graphics adapter is an ATI Radeon 9600 with 128 megabytes of video memory connected to an 8x AGP slot. The video outputs are two single link DVI, supporting two monitors at a maximum resolution of 1920 by 1200. For connectivity, there are three USB 2.0 ports, one on the front panel and two in the rear of the computer. There are also two Firewire 400 ports, one each on the front and back. Finally, there is one Firewire 800 port in the back. The shipped and currently installed operating system is OS X 10.4 Tiger. This can be upgraded to 10.5 Leopard. With Tiger installed, some pre OS X software can be run in classic mode. On the productivity side, there's a demo of iWork 05 with a 30-day trial which expired a while ago. From the iLife suite, there is iDVD, iPhoto, iMovie HD, and GarageBand. The previous owner of this computer added some software as well, of course. There is Microsoft Office 2004, which includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. No Entourage installed here. There's also QuickBooks Pro 2005, I'm not exactly sure what I do with that. The far more interesting to me is Adobe Creative Suite 2, a graphics desktop publishing package. I'll definitely want to check that out. That's about it for the tour of my Power Mac G5. I plan on maxing this machine out, so in future videos I'll be adding memory, Bluetooth, and airport wireless. I am interested in trying the machine out for some retro gaming, so I may upgrade the video card as well. And that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you like this type of video, why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks for watching, and see you next time.